something on my mind I bet you know what I'm thinking about You know I can't stop loving you Hi, this is Debbie with Food Prepping Channel and tonight I'm going to fix a quick dinner but something I have not fixed before but I've wanted to for the longest time. Um, this is, I guess you can see here, this is non bread. I've seen it at the grocery store a million times and I've seen people make these um, here on YouTube and a pizza. A pizza out of this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And I'm going to put this in my um, Ninja Foodie Air Fryer and air, not real air fryer oven. I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to heat this up and then when it gets done, I thought, I don't know, do you put broccoli on pizza? I don't know, I'm going to, whatever. And I've got sausage, the um, sausage that I used the, on the, um, oh my gosh, Debbie, brain kick in, Zupa Toscana soup. <laughs> See, my brain is just not working anymore. Anyway, I've got some sausage here. I'm going to put some of that on it. I've got pepperonis. I'm going to put those on it. I've got mozzarella cheese. I'm going to put that on it. And then, I've, of course, you got to have the sauce. So I've got this Contadina Pizza Squeeze. This, I can't wait to fix this. And I have never used this before, so... I don't know, but anyway, I'm going to heat up the naans now, the naan bread, and then I'll get it out, and I'll put the stuff on it, and I'll bring you back when I get to that point so I can show you what all I'm going to put on there. Okay, I'm back. All right, I heated up the broccoli. Like I said, I, I don't know. I just wanted some broccoli, and so <laughs> I'm going to put it on here, and I heated these up for about five minutes, but because I have the parchment paper on here, it's going to take longer, and I'm really picky about this. I really don't want to mess my <laughs> Ninja Foodie Air fryer oven up so I'm putting parchment paper on everything I oh, know I'm silly all right so the first thing that I'm going to put on here of course is going to be the pizza sauce and this is kind of brown weird huh no let me see if I can find a I forgot about Alright, I'll just, no, I don't want to use this one, because I'll use it tomorrow. Alright, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to use this brush and put this pizza sauce all over this, this non bread. I can't, oh my gosh, I think this is just going to be so good. And it definitely needs more sauce. Whoa, that was good. See, my hands just don't work anymore. <sighs> Alright, let me put some more on this side. And then I'm going to close this up. Take my brush and put it all over it. And I think what I'm going to do is put my broccoli on here next. And that way it'll be in the sauce and can cook. I know, don't y'all laugh at me. I just don't, don't know why I wanted some broccoli, but I figured the broccoli would probably be pretty good on the, on this. All right, let me see here. All right. 
Okay, let me get another paper towel. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to put on here, I want to know what I don't have. Onions. Uh, <laughs> wonder if I, I have onion powder, but it's on the way. Oh, all right, so I'm going to put sausage on here. So let's put this. If y'all have been around at all when I fix pizzas on my YouTube channel, I am not a sausage person very much on pizza. I like hamburger on pizza. I really do. I like hamburger, onions, pepperonis, and cheese, and we're gonna see if Dr. what rocks we taste like. All right, so now I'm using the mozzarella, and I'm just gonna put that on here. And y'all uh, comment below, do you put your cheese on first, and then your pepperonis, or your pepperonis, and then your cheese? Oh, not me, I gotta have my cheese, my pepperonis on the top, because I want my pepperonis crispy. I like them really crispy. So, all right. Now, y'all know I'm going to fill these up. I got one for tonight and one for tomorrow. And y'all know I'm going to fill these up in a couple ways. Oh, boy. Are you picky about how your pepperonis go on your pizza? I'm not. This one is weird. Usually I do square pizzas. Because <laughs> I do it in my uh, sheet pan or whatever. I make pizzas in my sheet pan. So this one is weird. And usually I have to have them on there uniformly. But I guess I'm not worried so much about this one. You know, I really wanted to put some a cabbage, I will kale and cabbage salad on here. And I think the next one of these that I do, I'm going to make it like a taco pizza. I think this is going to be really good. And I know it's going to have to cook for probably 20 minutes. It probably will cook longer in this than it would in my oven. But my oven is in the kitchen. And I'm in here. And my TV is here. And my kitchen table is here. And all my stuff is here. So I'll just come in here and do it. All right, now move this over some. All right, let me show you. There is my Ninja Foodie Air Fry Oven. Yes. <laughs> and it has a pizza setting on it, so I'm in luck. All right, now there it is. And I push start. Now I gotta get this mess up. You can see this has a light on it. And you can see my pizza just fine. Oh my gosh. I love this thing. I really do. I am so glad that I just decided to go on and get it. I know. I'm kind of stupid, I guess. <sighs> I told y'all, I don't know if you remember or not, but Lori counted all my gadgets and this is just the ones that she could see <laughs> and it was like 63 
upset. I am, I'm obsessed with this stuff. And plus, a lot of companies send me things to do videos, you know, reviews on for Amazon because I am an affiliate with Amazon and stuff like that. So they'll send me things and I'm not going to turn it down if I can get it free and, and just for doing a review of it. And if I don't like it, I daggone sure will tell them if there is something that I don't like. I will tell them, definitely. Um, I got a, I can't remember what it was now, but it was terrible. It was terrible, and I would not do the review, and I told them it was way too high, and it was just terrible. But anyway, let me get out here and put all this mess up, and I'm probably going to have to restart this over, and because I do want all the cheese melted and everything cooked and everything browned, and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. Don't they look so good? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, let's see. Let's try this. I'm gonna try to get it on the my plate right here. Oh my gosh. Mm mm mm. All right, I gotta move this over. All right, so, I've got a knife and a fork. I didn't get the pizza cutter out. I'm hoping I can do this with a knife. Oh, come on now. Well, I'm having a hard time with this, y'all. <clears throat> there it goes. All right. You see that steam coming up from it? I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's so hot. I cooked it for about, I guess, 15 minutes. My pepperonis, I should have gotten the other one. For some reason, on the right side, it cooked higher than the left side did of the, the um, rack. And so the other one is pizza. The uh, pepperonis are crispier. I love crispy pepperonis. Mm -mm -mm. You can take um, pepperonis and... I was on keto. When I was on keto, I learned this. And you take a paper plate and put pepperonis on around on, I think a plate held like 13 pepperonis or whatever. Put it in your microwave. I think it was two minutes or maybe just one minute. And they come out so crispy in your microwave. Forever help. You just have to watch it because I can't remember. But if y'all wanted to try that, oh my gosh, they're so good if you put them um if you just get regular pepperonis just like these and put it in your microwave on a plate for one, between one and two minutes i think you just have to watch them and see but i've got to let this cool off this is way too hot for me to eat so i'll bring y'all back okay y'all all right this is cooled off a little bit i broke it up i just pulled it apart y'all I broke it up into four different pieces, and I'm going to try this. I'm telling you, this this looks just like pizza dough. Oh, my gosh. I have never tried this non bread, but this has got... Um, You taste the, um, oh my gosh, I get so sick and tired, yeast. <laughs> you taste the yeast in this bread. You know how sometimes on yeast rolls you can taste them, the yeast? And this, you definitely taste it. This is amazing, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Why have I waited? Okay, y'all. 
If you've seen this on YouTube and you've waited, don't do like me. Go get you some naan bread, some pizza sauce, and whatever you want on your pizza. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. This is amazing. Mmm. This is, mm, this is better than any pizza things that you can get at the store. Mm, mm, mm. You know, the pizza that you can get in the, the rolls or in the bag. I mean, they've got all different kinds, but this is amazing. Mm, mm, mm. -mm. Mm. Very hot. And my broccoli is amazing on it. I did put salt and pepper on it while I was waiting for it to cool off before I brought y'all back. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Maybe there's my other one. Oh, my gosh, y'all. See if I can zoom in and show you this. Look, it's just like pizza, <laughs> but they call it naan. Um, I've seen it at Walmart over at the deli section, right around, you know, the bottom of the coolers. There's all different kinds of bread there or whatever. I've seen this naan bread over there. I don't know where else. I, I don't know if it was in the bread section or not. I didn't ever look over there. I always I saw it over at the deli section, and that's just where I've always gotten it. But <laughs> I've gotten this naan bread so many times and let it go bad. And this time I said, nope, not going to do it. I'm working on getting everything out of the, you know, get my food caught up so I can start, <clears throat> what's it, you know, where you move it forward, <laughs> whatever. So I can't think anymore, and it's nighttime at night. It's always worse. I mean, I know beyond a set of it out that I have Alzheimer's or I'm getting it or whatever, so... Early onset Alzheimer's, I think is what it's called. Rotate. That's what, <laughs> see, now I can't think of the word right then, but you want to rotate your stock. And so I need to get work on that and get that done. And so, but anyway, y'all, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, to my Instagram. And also, there's different things that I use in my uh, kitchen that you can purchase on Amazon. The links are below. And so, you have a good day tomorrow, and I will talk to you later. Bye.